Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Capricorn. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your general love reading. I hope all has been well, goats. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Yes, I miss you all. I'm ready to dive in here. And shout out to my beautiful soul family. Thank you, soul tribe, gang, gang. Thank you for your continuous love and support. It truly is an honor to have you here and evolving right along with me. Thank you so much, loves. And welcome back to my returning subscribers. Yes, thank you for your comments, loves, and your feedback down below. I see you. I appreciate you, all right? And no further ado, Capricorns, let's go ahead and dive in. We're first going to start with an oracle message here from the universe to see what messages we have for the crowning of your reading today. And then we're going to clarify with some tarot here to see who is in your energy and why, all right? Let's see what do we have here for Capricorn places. Let's see what's the collective messages here from the universe for Capricorn. What do we have for the goats? One card at a time, please. What do we have for Capricorn? All right, we have meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces, all right? So some of y'all, you may have Pisces placements in your chart that you need to maybe research and look up and rectify a situation here and utilizing the Pisces energy to help meditate and contemplate on a circumstance or a situation here. Some of y'all may be dating a Pisces or exchanging energies here with the Pisces in some type of shape, for fashion, or form here, okay? But the universe advice here is for you to kind of sit back and reflect Capricorn on whatever this is when it comes to your love life and meditate on this situation before you make your moves, before you make your decision, all right? Meditate on it first, you know, think before you react, all right? Let's see. Let's now dive into your love life. Let's pull out some tarot here, ghosts, to see exactly what this here is and how it pertains to your love life here. What do we have for Capricorn placements here? Who is in Capricorn's energy here and why? Who is this person here that is in Capricorn's energy here and why? Who is this person here that is in Capricorn's energy? Who is this person that is in Capricorn's energy here, please? Who is this person that is in Capricorn's energy? Wow, we got the hard fun coming out in reverse, okay? This is Taurus energy here. Some of y'all Capricorn, this person could be a Taurus here, okay? But whoever this person here is, this is a situation where their personal beliefs or some type of situation here is not being able to be accomplished here. Someone may not even want to commit to this situation anymore. This could be someone that you maybe were in a commitment with, all right? And they may be having a difficult time committing to you or actually doing what they signed up for. Whatever type of agreement, Capricorn, that you had with this person here, and they're not wanting to fall through with that. And I feel like this is what you're meditating on. You may be meditating on the fact that if I'm going to stay or am I going to leave type of situation here with this person because they're not doing what they signed up for, okay? Let's get more insight on this. Let's clarify the hard front here. Why do we have the hard front here for Capricorn? Why do we have the hard front here? We, yeah, we got the Ace of Pentacles coming out sideways. The Ace of Pentacles coming out sideways talks about a challenge. It's a challenge trying to be in this commitment with somebody. And then it could be also a challenge with you trying to pursue your career or accept these opportunities that's trying to come in towards you because of the situation that you all may be dealing with here with this person. Someone is keeping you from going to your highest potential here when it comes to abundance and trying to manifest new career opportunities for yourself. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles, please. 
Wow, Capricorn, if the reading here so far is resonating for you, love, smash the like button, goats. Definitely share this message with who you know the reading today may resonate for, Capricorn. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles here, please. Why do we have the Ace of Pentacles coming out here? Sideways. What's the challenge? Some of y'all, this person could be an earth sign like yourself. They could be a Virgo here, again, a Taurus or a Capricorn like yourself. Yep, this is the problem right here. The Nine of Wands, child. Some of y'all, this person could be a Sagittarius here. They could be a Leo or a Cancer here or an Aries. This is the issue. You don't realize that you don't got in a relationship with somebody here that want to be a player. They want to be in a commitment, but they want to act like they single. Let's make it make sense. Somebody here wants to be single, but at the same time, they want to persuade you that they want to commit me here with you. And because of this person's behavior pattern, this is what's causing you to be off balance and you're not able to manifest in your environment like you want to. And that is a problem. When somebody is messing with Capricorn's bag or slowing your bag down, that becomes an issue. Somebody got to go. You know what I'm saying? Shit. They must not know how the uh they must not know how the go operate. Child, what else? Clarify this hard for in reverse. Why do we have this hard one coming out here in reverse for the goats? Baby, we got the page of swords in reverse. Okay, someone is definitely watching you and stalking you. And whoever this person that is watching you and stalking you, nine times out of ten, this is the same person that you had to get rid of, that you had to let go because of the fuckery and the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? This could be Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra over here that's watching you. And with this being in reverse, this is someone that's watching you due to deception. They're not watching you for good intentions. They're watching you to try again to do with the very thing that they're doing right now. Someone is trying to distract you and get you off balance. Someone doesn't want you to receive this opportunity here that's coming in. They're hating on you. They're hating on the fact that you're still able to find ways to accomplish whatever it is that you over here accomplishing. And they're upset about that. They're miserable as fuck. They're dry hating because they're not with you anymore. And they can't suck you like a succubus here. Period. They can't drain your energy no more. You have to contemplate and realize this shit. Some of y'all, this is confirmation for you because this is what the universe is advising you to do. To let this person go and whatever you're being shown is the truth. Whatever this person, however they're giving you their energy, believe that. Clarify the page of swords here in reverse. Clarify the page of swords here in reverse, please. Mm. Okay. Whoa. We got the seven of cups coming out here. Yeah. You realize this was some buzz shit. You realize that this person was a liar, liar, pants on fire. Okay. Literally the, look, the four ones, you realize that you chose the wrong person to be in a relationship with. It is what it is. It's all right, Cappy. You will bounce back from this. This ain't nothing new under the sun. You know what I'm saying? You got enough power and enough strength to bounce back. You are a goat, okay? Let me remind you of who you are. Because sometimes people can allow you to forget who the fuck you is. Until they get into that type of energy to remind you who you are. You know what I'm saying? And I'm letting you know who you are. You're the fucking goat. So I need you to act like it. All right? Because some of y'all, you need this reality check. And I'm here to give it to you. Okay? Some of y'all, this could have been a Scorpio on this bullshit. All right, or an Aries here with the four ones. And because they mad, because they can't no longer be in this house with you and take all your manifestation here, they want to try to make it hard for you. Well, let's go, because that's not going to do nothing but motivate you to grind even harder, okay? Wow, let's see what the potential outcome here is. 
before we do that, let me go ahead and see what this person wants to say. Amongst everything that we have channeled out here, let's see what do they have to say about all of this, Capricorn. Wow, again, definitely if the reading here is resonating for you, goats, again, don't forget to smash that like button. All right, share this message with who you know the reading today may resonate with, okay? We got the... Mm, Mm -mm -mm. They don't match your energy. Yeah, this is what this all is coming to the terms to. This person is upset because you have decided to move on and the person that they were with, they don't match your energy. So somebody, once you ended things with this person, they tried to go and get somebody else like you and tried to even have the audacity for some of y'all to even throw this person up in your face. But you know that that was all a fraud. It was a phony. And this person would never be able to match up to your energy. And that's where they went wrong. Yeah, look at that. I can't make it up. It's time to check in, goats. It's time to check in and realize who you are. You know what I'm saying? And this person has to get a check in as well, thinking that they could come over here and treat you any type of way and that this shit wasn't going to backfire on their asses. Yeah, look at that. I can't control myself around you. Yeah, we see that. It causes this person to get out of their emotions and do things based off of their emotions. And then it ends up backfiring on them. And look at that. I miss our talks and kisses. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. You never know what you have until it's gone. Okay? Yeah, look at that. You do something to me every time. Yeah, and it's like this person can't shake it. But instead of them coming towards you in a, a responsible way and held themselves accountable, they're choosing to do fuckery shit here because they're watching you. They're watching you and trying to set bad intentions, trying to cause conflicts. Instead of trying to help the situation, they're hurting the situation where it's going to, again, backfire on them, okay? So you be the goat that you are and you move forward and you let this be a lesson and a confirmation for you to now know what type of individuals to look out for when you come across people like this in the future, okay? Wow, Capricorns. I'm going to leave this portion of the reading here. Again, definitely don't forget to like, subscribe if this is your first time here. If you would love to book a personal reading to get more insight, more details, to see where maybe things are going to go here in your future for you and this person, or just what's next in love for you or what's going on with your career, okay? That's what we can tap into, okay? My email details are down below, goats. I love you. I wish you all the best. Definitely come and check us out on Patreon as well, Capricorn, if you would love more content from this channel, all right? I love you and I wish you the best, goats. Bye-bye.